think Ms. Kisiangani, I think this is a good point to talk about your specific purpose. Do you mind sharing what that is or what your purposes are? Yeah, I, I won't mind sharing. Now, uh, when I talk, when we talk about purpose as an individual, uh, I grew up normally and then cancer just came and destroyed everything that I've been doing. I've had to sell one or two so that I make it for the treatment. Uh, being a teacher, uh, I am covered. I have a medical insurance, a medical cover, but uh, it reaches a time in Kenya here where uh, there are drugs which you have to get, uh, we, uh, whether you like it or not, and they are not covered by that insurance. So um, my purpose is I want, I want to create or to start a community-based program. A community-based program. And this community-based program, I want it to talk about cancer. I want specifically to be about cancer. In fact, I want it to be uh, to be merged, to be put in that uh, hope and destiny foundation. Uh, we 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 make it uh, have that special part for the cancer people, those who are fighting. We talk about those who are uh, on uh, active treatment. That is the most important part. And then those who have uh, yet to be diagnosed. I want them to, uh, I want this, this organization to talk to people and ask them to go for early screening. I want to tell them about the importance of early screening and tell them uh, my journey, my journey as a cancer patient, even as I'm still fighting, I'm optimistic that I'll, I'll come out uh, fine. So I want to tell them about, uh, so I want to tell them about, <laughs> I want to tell them about, ab about cancer. I want to talk to them and tell those fighting cancer that cancer is not a death sentence. People are alive. People are fighting it and we can do it. I want to tell those people about uh, about diet. This organization, this program that will be hand in hand with the, uh, this hope and destiny. I want to tell it. Uh, I want. I, wa I want us to walk around and tell people that uh, this diet is good. This diet will help you in future to avoid uh, having cancer. This diet is going to make you a better person and so on. I want also uh, to talk to people and be a testimony to them. I want to tell them what I have gone through and what they can do as individuals. I want them to have hope. I want to give them hope that cancer actually can be cured. That is my purpose. I really want to tell people about cancer. I and really that, want to do that. And that is a purpose. Yeah. That is quite a purpose. And I commend you for that, for you know, going through what you have gone through and wanting to turn that which you experience into something that will benefit others. And uh, that is indeed what we call purpose personified. When, when it's no longer a purpose that is serving you, but it's, it's also serving others. So I really commend you and applaud you for that. Now, one thing I would like to, to, to add is you, you talk about Hope and Destiny Foundation. For the benefit of our listeners, can you explain what... Hope and Destiny Foundation is who they are, what they what they serve, what purpose they serve. Mm -hmm. Hope and Destiny Foundation is an organization in Kenya. Uh, it's uh, in Cherangani, Transoya County, 
uh, the purpose of this Hope and Destiny Foundation under the director who is uh, uh, my brother, Patrick Kisiangani. Uh, the organization is out uh, to help those people who are less fortunate in the society. We have people who, who lack very basic need, like even a pair of trousers, a t-shirt, uh, even uh, just, there are some people who just need to be talked to. So this Hope and Destiny Foundation is there to give hope to the hopeless, to give uh, a word of encouragement to these people, and also to walk with them the journey once something is affordable or uh, available let's say a kilo of sugar we do it we give it out we do it oftenly once in a while we get a kilo of sugar a kilo of rice and give to that family which has never even eaten uh, uh, or uh, take one meal a day and maybe you get uh, this one one meal a day is even hard for them to we also, in this organization also, uh, it fights jiggers. Uh, jiggers is a big problem, is a menace in Kenya. You look at them, you look at the people who have been attacked by the jiggers, in fact, uh, the, it's usually an ISO. You don't feel like looking at, at them. And uh, the work of Hope and Destiny Foundation uh, helps out. We go to the villages, remove the jiggers, get some uh, medicine, wash the legs and so on. I'll send you some photos, you see. Yeah, so <laughs> Hope and Destiny Foundation is there to give hope to the hopeless and also to uh, focus on helping one or two individuals as we move forward. So that's why I also want as, uh, as an individual who has been through cancer to give hope to those people who think that once you are diagnosed with cancer, you're going to die. Now you are not going to die. You live the way Elizabeth Sitawa Kisiangani is doing. Elizabeth has finished eight, eight cycles of chemotherapy. She's waiting for a surgery and some uh, radiotherapy and still she's on drugs but she moves around laughs with people dances mm -hmm. uh, she's currently talking to you and so many other things so i want this hope and destiny foundation to help the cancer fighters and we also have cancer survivors who are also passing through the side effects of chemo you know, the chemotherapy uh, side effects go for a very long time. We even lose memory. Like uh, recently, I went to get something at the, at the bus station. Uh, when I reached there, I could not get where specifically I was to get it. My mind just completely went off. It was blank. I had to come back home and send somebody else. So there are so many things that you, a cancer patient will go through, a cancer fighter, a cancer survivor. There are so many. So I want through the Hope and Destiny Foundation to bring hope to these cancer fighters. Cancer is a very expensive uh, disease, very expensive. The way it has ripped me off, I feel it for anybody who is fighting cancer. And that's why I want to talk to them. And you know, doing it through Hope and Destiny Foundation is, is just an awesome thing. And I tell you, the name itself of the organization yeah. says so much, mm -hmm. Hope mm. and Destiny. And you know, I, yeah. I, I have, I'm some, what familiar with the organization and I know that the work that they're doing and I think they're just doing an awesome job in serving yeah. you know the honest serves in, in their communities so you know much kudos to them and hoping that someone will watch this interview 
and will stand up, step up, Thank and support you. the organization in their mission. You know? Thank you.